Good evening everyone, my name is Kathleen Kate Astro-Potabo, a second year nursing student of Nagros Oriental State University, Main Campus 1. In our today's return demonstration, it will be in another uh, procedure of medication administration, which is the nasal um, installation. So this is the installation of the nasal drops to our client's nasal passages. So its purpose is to relieve the congestion of our nasal passages. Uh, due to product, too much product, production of secretions or discharges and uh, this uh, administration will help our client to reach comfort. Then for our equipments, we have here um, uh, inside our tray, we have of course our nasal drop medication. Um, then we have our tissue, our washcloth. And we also have here our small, small pillow which we will be using to position our client. So we have also our disposable gloves, our alcohol, and we have here our pen light which is a lighter with flashlight as a substitute since we don't have um, any pen light uh, available. So now, uh, those are the things that we will be needing in this procedure. So now we can be we can now begin by first um, assessing or reviewing uh, in our friends' medical records of uh, which uh, sinuses were affected, because this will help us know what position uh, our client will be having as we administer our nasal passes. So uh, I mean our nasal drops. So according to the uh, record, since our client is uh, is undergoing uh, nasal congestion due to cold and her physician ordered uh, nasal drops uh, nasal saline nasal drops uh, two drops per, min uh, per minute so each of the sinuses so we will be uh, administering it on the two sinuses or two nasal passages of our client so next is we will now be identifying our uh, client. So good evening ma'am. Again, my name is Nuskit. Um, so today, um, I will be uh, administering nasal drops for your nasal congestions. So but first, let me um, identify. So can I have a statement? Okay. So can you state your name? I'm Harvey Constantine. Okay, so then you state your date of birth, July 10, 2008. Okay. Now we are done identifying our client. So the next procedure is we're going to inspect the sinuses of our client as well as palpate the sinuses for tenderness. So now we will be using our um, lighter with light as a substitute on our um, bed light. So based on what I have observed, so since our client, client has a nasal congestion, so there is redness on our uh, walls of our client's um, nasal passages, and there are secretions that are cloudy. There are, and however the septum is not uh, deviated. And now we will be palpating our client's sinuses. Okay, so we will repeat for uh, tenderness. So do you feel pain now? No. Yes. showed signs of nasal decongestion. The sinuses of our client is um, tender and um, our client said that it is uh, painful. So that's it for our um, inspection and palpitations of our client's um, sinuses. So next is we will be assessing our client's um, knowledge about the uh, medication installation as well as the willingness 
to learn about this administration. So, ma'am, I will ask you if um, are you aware of what I'm going to administer today, as I, as I mentioned earlier. Yes, I am. Okay, so it is uh, nasal drops. Since I will administer it to you later, after that, are you willing to learn how to administer this uh, drug? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you very much. And according to the um, response to our client, she is willing to um, perform the self administration of our uh, medication. So next is we will be explaining to our client the possible um, position or possible sensation that she might be experiencing such as stinging or burning because of the sensitivity of the throat because because we are um, distilling drops in our client's um, nasal passages, it is expected to trickle down uh, through the throat of her client and the, it may bring a uh, discomfort a bit to our client. However, it, it, it still leads to um, it still leads the congestion of our client. So we are explaining that because this is to give the client the anticipation of the experience and to relieve the anxiety. Now, ma'am, uh, as I administer the nasal drops, um, I will uh, give you a, a, a slight caution. I said caution, my expectation for the procedure. So, we are instilling nasal drops and we have nasal congestion. And it is expected that uh, around your nasal area, since you are still undergoing cold. And as we administer the drops, it may feel uh, like a tingling sensation and so sometimes burning sensation in, um, after we have administered the drug. Is it okay? Yes. So don't worry because after that, it will just um, be gone and it will give you therapeutic effect of the nasal passage. After that is we will now be washing our hands and um, preparing supplies in our bedside and donning our gloves. So we will uh, wash our hands. So we will don our gloves. Okay, now, so we are done donning our gloves. You can now open our tray. So before we start our procedure, um, uh, let us first assist our client to um, blow her nose for possible secretions because the discharges may interfere the uh, production or the distribution of our medication so we will give a ample amount of tissue to our client okay ma'am to start our procedure let us first clear our nasal passages so um is it okay to you to do it yourself or you want me to assist you Okay, so we, we will put it in our um, waste receptacle. Now we will administer our uh, drops and we will administer our drops and prepare our clients. First is we will be assisting our client in a supine position. So our client is now in a supine position and we have three, um, three possible uh, positions that we will um, have our client. First, if we have, we want to uh, have the access of our um, posterior pharynx so we will have the head of the client uh, 
in backward position. However, also in um, sphenoid, if we want to have the axis in that area, we must put our client's head at the edge of the bed and hang it a little bit or we can put a pillow under the shoulders of our client. Next, if we want to have access in our um, frontal sinuses, it is the same uh, procedure. However, we can tilt our head where we can have access in the affected sinus, sinuses and again put a pillow under it and under the pillow of, I, we can put the pillow under our client's um, shoulder. So since uh, the doctor ordered um, two drops, in each sinuses so we will choose the position where we will just put the pillow under our client's um, shoulder without uh, tilting it so we can now put our small pillow a rolled pillow so that it will still give comfort to our client so ma'am is it okay to change your bed for a bit of that. I mean, your pillow. So, I will replace it with this one. Okay. So, are you comfortable? Okay. So, now we are done positioning our client. So, here is the pillow under your shoulders and her head is um, bent backwards since so that we can have access on the two sinuses of our client so now we will do the administration of the drops so um we can have our medication with the lining so that we can properly administer it so using our um, non-dominant hand we will uh, put support in our client's head. Okay. So now we are done putting our non-dominant hand in our client's head for support. This is to avoid any neck muscle strains. And now uh, we will um, instruct our client to breathe through her mouth and not through the nose. So ma'am, during our procedure, I want uh, you to breathe through your mouth and not through your nose. Is it okay? So now we will begin the installation of our nasal drops. So we will be positioning it um, above the near server um, patient, half an inch or one centimeters. And we will do um, two drops each towards the midline of our ethnoid bone. One, two, three. So breathe uh, through your mouth. So the other one. One. Two. Okay. So now we are done um, administering the drops to our clients. So we will have our client to remain in a supine position uh, for five minutes. So we will um, properly position our client okay. so now we've uh, put our client in a supine position for five um, minutes so next is we will uh, give our client a pair of or amount of tissue to blood um, her nose to avoid the um, spillage of our medication and to bring comfort since our client not, might have a uh, nose. Okay, ma'am, so I'm giving you this um, tissue to blood your nose. Do you want me to assist or do you want it to do your job? Gently plug it on the entrances of our nasal passages. Now we will put it in our um, 
ways to set the ball. Now we will assist our client in a comfortable position. So now we've already um, removed the little pillow that is on our client's under the shoulders of our client. So we've already replaced it with comfortable um, pillow. So next is we will now be disposing the so uh, soiled materials. So I will now be disposing my gloves. I will turn it inside out. Okay. So after that is we will be observing our client for the onset of side effects. So those side effects can be a stinging sensation, a burning sensation in our client's nose and throat. So we will be observing it for 15 to 30 minutes. Now, after um, absor uh, observing our client, is we will have our client blow her nose or most possibly occlude the other one and breathe to the open um, passage and do it vice versa. This is to know the effectiveness of our um, medication. So, hello, Max. So, we are done uh, in our administration, so it has been um, 30 minutes. So, do you still feel any burning sensation for your nose? Actually, I don't feel it anymore. Okay. So, the side effects of the medication has now subsided and our client doesn't feel any of those um, sensations. So, compared to your condition before we administer, how is your physical condition, condition Do you? Uh, can you breathe more normally yes. now? I can breathe more normally. I think um, my um, secretion in my nose has been more um, lighter, or I guess um, it disappeared. So with that, so can you uh, uh, do a breathing for a bit? So you can breathe uh, first with two, uh, okay, and the other one. So, do you still feel that there is a blocking sensation? Actually, I don't feel anything like that. Okay, thank you very much. So, it shows that our client is um, free from any congestions of uh, nasal congestion that he she rather experiences before we instill the um, medication. So, now we will uh, re-inspect the sinuses of our client between installations. So again, we will use our pen light to see the condition, if it is still the same earlier or it gotten a lot a lot better uh, now. So based on my observation after we administered the um, medication, so earlier our client showed signs of redness of the walls of the uh, nasal passages and there are more um, secretions. Now, um, as what I have observed, the uh, color turned into pale pink so there are no signs of redness anymore and as per the secretion, unlike earlier that um the amount of secretion now is is much uh lesser than what we uh inspect um earlier so now as we will ask our client about this procedure and we will ask if um she knows the uh, overuse of this medication which is the nasal um drops now, after we've um, re -inspect, re inspected the uh, sinuses of our client, now we will ask the client about the possible um, results of the overuse of this drug and the method of this procedure. Now, ma'am, after uh, this um, procedure, so 
um, if there are possibilities in our house that uh, we want to uh, have the desired outcome by putting more and more medications, so there might be um, a slightly uh, little, not just little, but some side effects that might uh, hinder your productivity in the day. So, if you have overuse of these nasal drops, you might encounter headaches and especially drowsiness. So, you will be um, inactive in that day and you feel um, restless. So, that's the reason or that's some of the aspects that you could experience if we have overused this medication. And earlier, we've done the administration. So, um, uh, can you state even a simple description on how did we do the, the method of this procedure? So, what I noticed is that um, you put a small pillow under my shoulder and then um, just looked at my um, head backward and put a few drops of medication into the nose. Okay, very good. So now, so what, as what I have said earlier, um, can you state the two possibilities of having the overdose or overuse of this um, cell drops? So, um, if um, I would, um, Okay, very good. So that is the method that we did earlier. So now, based on what I have explained before I said about the method, is we have um, two indications of what um, can we experience if we do the, or if we overuse the these So can you state what are those? Okay. Just yes. Okay. So it is headache and drowsiness. Yes. So now, since uh, you have now the knowledge of our um, procedure and you said earlier that you are willing to learn. So using our drops here. So using our drops here. So can you? Um, you can just not just put uh, actual drops. So you can just do the maneuver on how the we do the um, installing of our drops. So can you show it to us? So before installing, what will be our position? So is it okay for you to sit? Huh? Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Then I have to stay for... That's what we um done earlier. So uh, for last time, um, um, can I ask you how many drops did you administer in each sinus test? I administered two drops. Yes. So it can be sent back to him. So do you feel better now? Yes, I feel more better. Okay, thank you very much, Mom. I will come back to you and you have your call light, your bed set beside your um, bed so you can call us if you need anything. Thanks. So now that is our uh, nasal uh, installation. So next is we will be recording in our um, Nurses notes about the procedure that we've done, how many drops, and uh, what time did we administer, and also uh, the type of drugs that we, we have administered in our client. And we will also record the response of our client after 
this procedure. And also, we will also record some unusual systemic effects that may occur in our client. And with that, we must uh, notify our physician. So we will be um, putting our initials as nurses and sign it that we are done administering our uh, medication to the right client in our um, medication administration record. So this has been Kathleen Kate at the Butabo and that was the procedure of the nasal installation. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you again in our next return demonstration. Thank you and goodbye.